guys, it's Willow, and today I'm going to show you my jeans collection. So the other day, I was looking on the Levi's website, and I wanted to get a new pair of jeans, and if you've seen the prices on Levi's, you know that they're kind of expensive. You really want to make sure that the jeans are going to be perfect before you order them, because you're not about to spend that coin and then have them not fit or look good. So I found myself searching YouTube for videos of girls that were wearing or trying on or whatever the type of jeans that I wanted. This is no original idea, I'm aware, but I thought I'd make a video trying on some of my favorite jeans and if you've come across this video and you're hoping to see what they look like on me to see if they'd look good on you, you've come to the right place. So let's just get right into it because you don't care what I'm saying. You literally couldn't care less. You're like, okay, put the timestamp of when the try-on starts because I don't care about you. I'm gonna start first with this pair from Forever 21. I feel like it's a really, really good pair of jeans. They were very, very affordable, especially compared to Levi's. So obviously I'll put the try-on, but this is them. High rise, button fly, 100% cotton, they're distressed. These come in a couple washes, I believe. Um, this is the lighter wash. I love them so much. I don't wear them as often just because they are, they're 100% cotton, but they're thin. Like what I like about jeans is when they're really stiff. I know most people don't like that. Um, it's just personal preference. We all have lumps and bumps and I feel like the stiffer cotton doesn't show them as much. The only downside is like it kind of flattens your butt a little, but you know. I just think these are a really, really good option. If you want a button fly, high-waisted mom jean thing and you don't want to spend like $100. Next is a pair of Levi's that I wear pretty often. These I did get off Poshmark, but I should still be able to find them. They're 550 relaxed jeans. They're more of a mom jean, less of a skinny jean, but when you're looking for that vibe for the day, they're the perfect thing. I grab them all the time, mainly though, because they make my butt look so good and I don't know why. <laughs> I do fold them just because they're straight leg and straight leg just make me look really stumpy. So I try and like fold it up. These love. I will try it my best to find them online because, oh girl, if you want your booty to be popping, those are the jeans for you. Next, another pair of Levi's. 501 Levi's is like what got me into wanting that like nicer jean. These are the 501, it does say S on it, so I guess it's short. Is that what that means? Is S short in Levi's? I'm supposed to know all about jeans. I'm doing this whole video on it. I'm like, what does Esh mean? They're distressed, button fly, 100% cotton. Love these so much. So these are waist 26, length 28. In an ideal world, I'd get 26 waist 26 length, but must have in my opinion. Next is this pair that I thrifted. It's Eddie Bauer Outdoor Outfitter. This is like a really old pair. Um, the waist is teeny tiny and the rest of the leg is like pretty wide. And this is crazy. I've never even looked at the size. It's petite eight, but they fit me like, like a two or a four. So I don't even know. Sizes have changed so much since like the olden days. Next, I will get into the jeans that started it all. These, <laughs> they have stains all over them. I've washed them a bajillion times. They're like not even stiff anymore. I remember when I first wore these, my feet would fall asleep because like when I'd sit because they were so tight. That's another tip. They just need to be worn in. That's something that my mom's actually told me that when she was younger and she would get Levi's jeans cause that's like what people would wear back then was like always Levi's. People had to wear in their jeans. They'd be stiff cotton. They wouldn't be comfortable. They'd almost like hurt they were so stiff, but like it was a process. It's like new shoes. You have to wear them in. So if they're a little tight, don't worry because they'll totally break in and be like floppy pieces of fabric. <laughs> These are also 501 S, whatever that means. Oh, these are 501. Oh, S is skinny. That makes sense. 
loves of my life. I've worn the crap out of these white boys. <laughs> and I love them so much. The wash, I just am obsessed with. My mom actually said, another fun fact from my mom, that these aren't actually like, they're marketed in today's advertisements as like vintage but this is actually like a blue denim that would be really hard to get like back in the old like true denim is like blue you know what i mean it's so weird anyway fun fact <laughs> love those and now for my last pair these are my newest ones these are the jeans that made me watch those other jean videos and make this one the new loves of my life I love these jeans so much. They're so comfortable. They're the wedgie style, which I've been so intrigued by. They are 1% elastine, so they have the slightest bit of stretch in them, but I love the wash of this. The only thing I don't love, love, love is like the, what do you even call that? Um, like fading, is that what you'd call it? I don't know. I wear, have worn them every single day since I got them. Um, they're the perfect blue bright side. That is the wash of these. That is my high rise 100% cotton, or it's my high rise mom jean style jean, what? <laughs> That's my jean collection, or at least the mom jeans. I do have other like low rise, mid rise, skinny jeans. I have a problem. I know, I'm aware. If you're looking for new jeans, I hope that this helped you out and you purchase those babies because new jeans are so fun. Thank you so much for watching and rain or shine, I'll have a video next week. Don't miss it because it'll probably be mediocre. Peace.